Medix Freak has created a new firmware based on the ATV uh, version 1.2 for this BT GT1 Mini 2. This device right here, GT1 Mini 2. Now this little box is S905SX3 quad core ARM Cortex A55. Now uh, it's listed on Geek Buying for $75.99, $80. So anyway, a lot of times you can catch them on sale for a lot less than that. So anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and download his file here. And we're going to install it. So we're going to go ahead and download it. Install it. And then I will show you how to put it on there. And then we'll test it out. Okay, now we started it to version 2.168. Put the image. We're going to take this one right here. Now he also updated the Pro version. So we're going to do that, this one here, the Mini 2. Open that. It's going to show down here so as it gets loading into this burning tool. Okay, it's loaded. Now we're going to click Start. Now we'll go back to the box and I'll show you what we have to do from that point forward. Okay, in order to uh, put the firmware on this box, this is the B-Link. There's two USB ports. One is a USB 3 and the other one's a USB 2. That's the one we have to use, the USB 2, because that is a OTG port. So that's what we're going to use. Uh, Ethernet port, HDMI port, power port, and uh, microphone. Or ear earplugs, I guess. But anyway, on the back here, there is a tiny little hole right here. And underneath that hole on the, mother on the motherboard is a reset button. So we're going to put the uh, paper clip into that. This one here. We're going to insert that as we plug in our cable. Now this is a homemade male to male uh, plug that I use, USB 2 plug. Uh, I created that and just grabbed a couple of cables that I had. Tried to find the fattest ones I can so they have a bigger wire. But anyway, I spliced them together. So that's the cable I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to insert that pin into the hole. And then when I got it in there, I'm going to depress it, and I hear it click and feel it click. Okay, now I felt it and I heard it. Now I'm going to plug in the USB 2 port. Okay, that's it. We heard it go beep, and now we're going to start. Okay, it's installing. It will take a few minutes to install, or not a few minutes, about a minute or two, and it will be done. So we will come back when it gets completed. Okay, it is complete. It took uh, three and a half minutes to uh, install, and it was a total of about one and a half gigabyte of data. Excuse me, megabyte of data. So we'll click stop, then we take it over to the computer. Okay, here is Minix Freaks boot up screen. So that's what it looks like when it boots up. Minix Freak. Okay, here's what the main screen looks like. Now, since I logged in using my uh, Google uh, ID, it automatically downloads these apps that's on my phone, I guess. But anyway, it does it automatically. So MB is one of my apps, HD Home Run. Now, I'll show you some of the apps that it came with. It came with that one. ADS64 came with that. Came with the CBS Hall, which I won't use that. Came with Chrome. Dark Media, I have no idea what that is. Um, it automatically installed that one from my phone, I guess. Same way with MB. It came with that Media Center, Live Channels. Uh, Cody came with Cody. Or did I download that from my phone? But anyway, those are some of the ones it came with.
Uh, it came with Miracast, came with Showtime, and Smart YouTube Channel, and this one here, STBEMU. I don't know what the heck those are, but that one I'll probably uninstall. That one in Hulu, I don't use Hulu, so I'll uninstall that. Dark Media, I'll uninstall that. So anyway, that's some of the ones that it came with and the ones that automatically downloaded, okay? Now, I'll go ahead and give you a sample of what it does. Okay, this is the name of it, Poison TV GT1 Mini 2, version 2. Okay, there we go. It brings up the Pi, the Android Pi version 9. Android 9, kernel version, October 18th, 2019, and built unknown. So we don't know about that one. So anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to show you there. Using the DRM Info app, it shows that we have Google Widevine Security Level 1 and Maximum HDCP Level Supported is 2.2. That is all the criteria you need to get uh, Netflix and 4K, etc. But this is not blessed by Netflix, so you cannot get uh, Netflix and uh, HD on this box. Okay, now using the IDA 64 system, this is what it shows. It's a uh, manufacturer's poison. That's what uh, Freak, uh, Minix Freak put on there. Uh, using the platform G12B. Installed RAM, it's got 4 gigabit of RAM. Available memory is 2.3 gigabyte storage uh, free. CPU, four ARM uh, Cortex A55 at 1908 megahertz. So it's a four core box and it is fast. This little box is a speed demon. Android Pi, API level 28. Uh, let's see here. Should show whether it's running under 64-bit or 32-bit. And I'm sure it's a 32-bit operating system. It's got capability of 64-bit, but it's only running at 32-bit. Uh, now, looking at the thermals, this is pretty doggone high, 60 degrees centigrade, and it's not even doing anything. So that's pretty doggone high for a device that's not doing anything. Now, MB is my main app that I use on these boxes. And again, this is a client for a server that's running on one of my microcomputers that uh, aggregates all my media, my uh, ripped uh, movies, plus my uh, recordings, TV recordings. So that's what this does. Live TV guide. Again, this is all my channels that I'm getting over the air from my antenna on the roof. So I've got a quite a selection, and I'm primarily into these older shows. Now, right now, the NFL football, which is the Indianapolis Colts and the Pittsburgh Steelers, I'm recording that. So after it's playing for about a 45 minutes to an hour, an hour, then I'll start watching it. That way, I fast forward through all the commercials and stuff. So anyway, uh, that's the guide. Okay, now this one it. It likes to use uh, MX Player, but uh, it will use VLC, which right now it's using VLC as the player. So this is my uh, app that's from Synology. And right now it is on my AVR, it's showing DTS-HD-MA. So this is a master audio, high def definition audio, and it changed the frame rate to 24 frames per second. So that's what I want to show you there. Okay, now what I'm going to do here, I really don't like the Kodi interface. I like the um, Embraer, and I like Embraer to use my data from my uh, MB server 
So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up and I'll show you how that works. Okay, I'm gonna go to add-ons, go to settings, go to add-ons. Now I'm gonna install from zip file. So I have to go to settings, enable that, go back to the zip file. Now, for some reason, the uh, Windows SMB is not finding, and it's not just this box, it's on all my boxes. So I have to use this one here. So that's one, that's my Synology NAS, that's where I store all my uh, data on. Okay, now this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get Fred's repo. That's what I'm gonna do is install Fred's repo. Okay, it's installed now. So what I'd have to do, I gotta back out of Cody and come back in and install the apps from there. And one neat little thing about this OS, if I press the home button two times, it brings up the uh, thing where I can clear all the apps that are running in the background. That's pretty slick. All I have to do is click the home button a couple of times. But anyway, back to this Cody. So I'll go ahead and show you that. So we're going to go and install from some repos. Let's go to add-ons again. Install from repository. Now we're going to do software's repo. Okay, we're going to get Kobe MB, Kodi MB beta add-ons. We're going to get that one. We're going to install that. Canards, we're going to install that repo. Okay, that one's installed. I don't need to install that one. Okay, so that's what I wanted to install there. Okay, context menu. We're going to install that. Look and feel. Okay, I want the screensaver. That's the screensaver I enjoy using. So we're going to take that one there. That was fast. That was fast about installing. And the skin. Okay, I've already installed that skin. Okay, program add-ons. Okay, we got that. We got that one. That was already installed, so now we're going to get this one. We're going to install it. Now this little box is fast. It is fast. Now some of these take a while to download and install. This is one of them. Okay, that's installed. Now we're going to install this one. Okay, that's installed. Services. Install that. That's done. All right, I will continue. Now this one here is the key add-on. Now this one is created by Null Pointer, Angel Blue, and Solfred, and a couple others. But it's the Kodi MB Beta add-on. Okay, video add-ons. This is it right there. That's the one we want. MB, Angel Blue, and Solfred. So we're going to install that. Okay, now it's going to come up and ask me some questions. Okay, I have the server running on some different devices, so we're going to pick that one there, the Worky V2. That's the one we're going to use. So it's going to ask me a few questions. Now it's going to ask me if I want to go ahead and uh, sync everything. I'm going to go ahead and click proceed and it's going to take a few minutes. Click all and go to OK. So now you look at the top right hand corner. It's uh, scraping all the data. Okay, MB Ebrary is installed, and if you look at the bottom left-hand side, it's still uh, aggregating or grabbing the data to put into Kodi, so it's grabbing the information from my 
server, MB server, and bringing it into this app. So right now we're 50% done on grabbing the TV shows. These are all my recordings from the TV. Now here's something interesting. Okay, now playing in theaters. Now this is not uh, piloted stuff where I can go and actually watch it. This is just showing me what's in the theater today. And this is what's coming up. New movies coming soon. Really slick. Really, really slick. The Joker. That's been since October the 4th. Okay, now that one, it premiered the 2nd of October, and the U.S. premiere was uh, December the 17th, 2019. Oh, wait a minute. That's strange. Anyway, it's got a budget of $55 million, and it made a total of uh, $872 million, almost a billion dollars. Uh, the U.S. premiere, December the 17th, I don't understand what that means. But anyway, here's all your cast. Again, this is not pirated stuff where you can actually watch it. It just tells you what's coming on. And if you look down the bottom, we're still, we're up to 55% now. Okay, there's Robert De Niro. Now, he's been in 149 movies and five TV shows. And he was 76 years old, born in 1943 in Greenwich Village, New York. Here's the TV shows he was in. And here's all his movies. He was in a lot of movies, or is in a lot of movies. Now, so is Database. Now, our Database, this is the movies that I have in my uh, collection. Now, this might be kind of slow because I got, I'm multitasking. I got, uh, it's scraping. My TV shows at the same time it was doing this. So, uh, directed by Robert De Niro, The Good Shepherd, YouTube videos. Okay, these are the ones that I have in my uh, collection. Those there. So that's Robert De Niro. Okay, that's what I want to show you. This is pretty doggone slick. I love it. We were show soldiers. Now there again, it changed the frame rate to 24 frames per second and it's playing in Dolby Digital. When it changes the frame rate back to 60 frames, the screen uh, blanked out while it's changing, but that's that's the TV, not the uh, not this application. It's the TV doing that. Avatar. Again, it's kind of slow because it's multitasking. It's got two or three things going on at the same time. Okay, Avatar. It premiered... Uh, December the 10th, 2009, and it, the budget was $237 million, and it made $2 billion, almost $3 billion revenue. So that was a very, uh, it made a ton of movies. So anyway, so much information on this stuff. And there again, it gives you all the cast, uh, the information on the cast. I know this is going to be a long-winded video, but... Uh, this application, I really do like it. So they're planning on having Avatar 5, Avatar 4, 3. I don't know who's going to live that long, 2025. Okay, that's what I want to show you.